we'll wait for a minute or two for more people to join before we officially start the live session. I can see a few people have already begun trickling in. Okay. We'll just give it maybe 30 seconds more. I'm hoping everybody who is joining is having a fabulous day and they're just ready to get some short, quick bites of knowledge and just, you know, ensure that today is extremely productive, more than the normal productivity that they have. We'll wait a few seconds more, maybe. I just want to see a few more people come in and then I can start introducing the person I have with me um, on screen. So we'll slowly get to that. I know all of you are really excited about today's session. It's a very, very important session. Uh, considering the topic is something that we are all familiar with. Okay, it's four o'clock. Welcome all of you to the 52nd session of Mojo series, a webinar series where we use anywhere between half an hour to an hour to discuss core business components. Today, we will discuss the growth potential on WhatsApp. Everybody uses it. Everybody knows about it. But how many of you entrepreneurs are actually optimizing your growth on it? Well, today we have with us Benjamin Isaac, a business development manager at Interact. 5,000 plus businesses across different industries trust Interact's WhatsApp business platform to acquire new customers, drive sales, and offer seamless customer support. Since joining, since joining forces with Interact, brands have witnessed a 60% abandoned cart recovery, a 13% increase in repeat purchases, and an 80% reduction in CRM spends. A hearty welcome to you from the Instamoji community, Benjamin. Thank you so much, Rai. Very, very okay. happy to be here. I'm so glad to have you here too. So I think before we start the session, because I know a lot of these nuggets of piece, useful information are going to come through, a lot of technical discussions are going to take place. Just a very basic question to, you know, give our viewers a chance to understand the direction that this session is going to take place, right? All of us use WhatsApp, especially these extremely micro entrepreneurs. They depend on WhatsApp a lot, right? So imagine a new somebody who's just started their catering business or an artist who wants to show their art to um, new audiences. They tell their friends, their community, hey, check this out. Um, tell your friends about it. Would you want to buy from me? Um, what would you like me to send you? Like, So there's this informal sort of a communication going on between the seller and their community. But then WhatsApp is a meta-owned entity, right? They are so much more than that with so many powerful features. What would you recommend can be done so that not just micro entrepreneurs, but all businesses and those who want to start their businesses can use WhatsApp as a formal channel of marketing and distribution for their business. Right. So I, it's a very, very interesting question there. And uh, to be quite honest, uh, we are at a stage, uh, you know, where I think WhatsApp is at the center of conversational commerce, right? So uh, regardless of how large of a business you're operating, Right? Or what is the volume of orders that you're catering to? Or if you've just started off, uh, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, we, uh, especially in India, right? we live in a country where I think WhatsApp is one of the most used apps in every single smartphone. Right? On, on an average, I think users spend anywhere between an hour to a couple of hours right, on WhatsApp. And that's where your target audience typically is. For any new business who's starting off, I think the initial... A uh, couple of months and the teething period, right? They depend on close, uh, the close circle, their family, their friends, friends of friends, so on and so forth. And the major dependency I, uh, is generally on word of mouth. 
But uh, you know, with the transition and with uh, Meta developing a product like a WhatsApp API, right? This kind of helps bridge the gap between maybe an entrepreneur and this target audience or the community that he wants to sell to, right? Uh, I do have a short presentation as well. Uh, you know, that kind of explains how uh, you know we can put this together. What it would mean for an entrepreneur for a new business to use uh, you know a technology like WhatsApp, but in a much more advanced uh, manner that is slightly more structured and I think that will help ease a lot of problems that most startups face. Right. Over, so just... Benjamin. Thank you. I hope my screen is visible. It is. Awesome. So great. Uh, my name is Benjamin, Benjamin Isaac. I am part uh, of Interact. I work as a manager in the business development team. I've been working very closely with startups, with entrepreneurs, uh, I think for the last five years. And that kind of helps me understand a lot of the problems and challenges that one would face, especially to take their market, uh, their business to the market, right? And uh, that kind of brings me to our session today. So I'm really excited to be here. I thank the InstaMojo team for conducting the session and, uh, you know, really looking forward to spending the next 15, 20 minutes walking through and understanding. And I hope you guys learn a lot. Right. So let's quickly get started. So uh, I'm going to start with a small video and just kind of will explain a small journey of what it would mean for a business and how they can use a tool like uh, WhatsApp, you know, to reach the larger audience that they would wish to. I'll take a quick pause in the video before we continue and just to explain what we have seen so far right so the video begin with a person uh, you know scrolling on facebook and they stumble upon uh, you know a product uh, like an ad that they and that kind of caught their attention so they click on the link it takes them to the whatsapp official whatsapp uh, profile of the business right uh, where they start a conversation they see a catalog that has been set up right the customer browses through the catalog chooses a particular product that he likes and adds the product to the cart. After that, he simply goes ahead and confirms the, pur the purchase, chooses a mode of payment like COD. But if you notice something happened here, right? After the person choosing the mode of COD, he received a confirmation stating that, hey, uh, you know, your order has been placed. Since your mode of delivery was cash on delivery, uh, would you like to confirm the order? So this in business terms is something that's called cash on delivery confirmation, COD confirmation. Very important, uh, especially for uh, smaller businesses you know, are looking at using or optimizing COD. And quite often they're not, uh, you know, um, it does happen that people tend to have impulsive purchases and they don't actually go through with the order. But this is a great feature to have uh, for businesses who are just starting off. Uh, not just that, Benjamin, an important point to bring out here is also that uh, tier two and tier three cities actually depend a lot on COD. So right. for them, COD is one of the main modes of payment, preferred modes of payment. Absolutely, absolutely. Very well put. So moving on with the video, guys. So what, what happened over here is that the customer has not actually clicked on yes, confirm, right? So an automation is set up where, uh, you know, in about 15 minutes or 30 minutes, uh, a prompt goes out to the customer on WhatsApp saying that, hey, you know, you still haven't purchased. Would you like to probably change your mode of payment? Or we may have a higher discount or discount coupon, right? And it kind of redirects the customer to go ahead and pay online.
so again uh, the second half of the video simply explains and puts together uh, you know a very beautiful part of what whatsapp automation can do that is retargeting right so you can retarget customers of course you can go ahead and send them messages like you know your product is shipped your product is received uh, you can ask and gather feedback from customers and depending on their past purchases you can also retarget these customers to send out uh, you know customized products and campaigns to them as well so moving on from here So uh, what we are here to talk about, all right? So uh, most businesses tend to have a question around, you know, what is the best platform for me to go for? You know, I have just started off. I have a website. Um, uh, I really haven't launched or, you know, I'm, 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 I'm spending certain, a certain amount every month on, you know, ads, on marketing, but it, didn't, it isn't really uh, materializing into something or in a way that I would want it to. And uh, that then leads them to probably reach out to marketing agencies, spend money, uh, and again, double down on the investment for marketing, uh, yet seeing the same kind of result, right? And that's what we're here to talk about and how a WhatsApp business platform can actually change the entire uh, situation for, uh, you know, an, an upcoming merchant, right? So what we're going to talk about is, you know, what are the advantages of using a WhatsApp uh, API? Uh, you know, how, uh, how to use a WhatsApp tool, right? So for a new entrepreneur, uh, off of homegrown brands, it becomes very difficult to use something, a product which is too technical, which is too complex, right? So how a, how a tool is made in a simplified manner that even homegrown brands can use, right? Uh, which WhatsApp solution works best? And I'll speak more on that later. And obviously how to get started, right? So as an introduction, we uh, let's let's kind of understand why we're looking at WhatsApp in the first place, right? So today, as we understand, and I mentioned earlier that uh, we live in a country where, uh, you know, 90% of the people are using WhatsApp every single day. It's one of the most used applications, right? And WhatsApp is a very reliable channel, right? So earlier businesses used to uh, prefer sending SMS campaigns uh, in the form of text messages. Then there was a time on an era of sending email marketing. But the entire, uh, this entire movement has kind of centralized now into, uh, you know, uh, sending on, say, communication over WhatsApp, right? So 99% of your messages that you send gets uh, delivered. Right, messages get responded five times more than uh, your typical emails. Uh, in fact, your messages get read even more, uh, and you have a higher response time as well. Right, and most of uh, the best part is again it supports multiple languages. So you know you have WhatsApp that supports sixty plus languages, and uh, uh, that's it's really great, especially in a country like India where you know we want to focus on particular particular regions and grow your brand awareness in a particular region. Right, so multi language support is also possible. Uh, Sorry, yeah. So why does a brand need to be on WhatsApp today, right? One of the first and foremost things is to increase your engagement with your customers. Today, you may start with 10 customers. This may go to 100, and then it may go up to 1,000, 5,000, so on and so forth. But how do you keep engaging with your customers from a time to time period? And that's why WhatsApp plays a very, very crucial role, right? Now, earlier this year, WhatsApp uh, or uh, the Meta launched something called Click to WhatsApp Ads. And this is a game changer for marketing. What this typically does is a person like you and me would actually spend some time on Facebook scrolling, right? Uh, through post and endless uh, uh, things that we normally would see. And that's when we typically come across an ad. Now, uh, earlier the way Meta used to work is, you know, you click on an ad and then you have to fill up a form, so on and so forth. And then the marketing team would get the lead and so on and so forth. But with click to WhatsApp ad, this entire thing has changed. What typically happens now is that a customer would click on an ad and in a matter of seconds that uh, he would get redirected to the official WhatsApp page or, uh, you know, off of the brand, right? And they could automatically start interacting and looking at the catalog and starting with the purchase journey as well. Now, uh, it obviously saves a lot of time because uh, for a customer, he does not have to go, go to a website or search for the website or look for information. And similarly, if he wants to reach out to the support team in the future, he doesn't have to go ahead and send an email. The entire conversation cycle is managed in WhatsApp itself. Uh, WhatsApp also helps you with uh, things like automation uh, and a major part of automation, especially for homegrown brands is, uh, you know, abandoned cart recovery. And it's a challenge that every business would face at some point of time, right? So with the abandoned cart recovery, uh, typically, uh, you know, you have campaigns that get sent out and this again increases the conversion that a lot of businesses have, have witnessed in the past. And I'll share more about that new course. Uh, the biggest beauty about having a product like Infract you know, is uh, the fact that you have a plug and play integration. 
which simply means that you can, if you have a, uh, you know, regardless of what kind of a background you have in terms of, uh, uh, you know, the technology stack that you're based on, you have a lot of out of the box integrations that you can make use of simple things like, you know, Google sheet integrations, Facebook lead form integration, so on and so forth. And all of that is readily available with us. Now, uh, as a business, you know, when should you move? How should you, how, how, what is your typical customer journey? Right. And this is a very interesting point that I love to talk, uh, especially with, uh, you know, my entrepreneurs that I deal with very closely. Right. And, uh, if I have to break down a typical customer journey, right, I would probably categorize them as these three boxes, right? One is your pre-purchase, right? Here is when, as a brand, you want to share, um, uh, you know, information about yourself, about your product, about upcoming sales, right? You want uh, your your customers to know that you're there, you're doing business, and there's a lot more coming their way, right? So this is this is where you create your vibe, your energy of your brand. The next part is moving this uh, this entire bunch of customers into the purchase box, as I call it, right? And what happens here is now you're increasing the engagement to a point where the where you're pushing out products, where you're pushing out catalogs, campaigns, uh, you know, uh, end of month sales, end of year sales, seasonal sales, stuff like that. And what's happening here is you are increasing your engagement, nonetheless, and you're also increasing your revenue in the form of purchases. Now, now that you have these two boxes covered, the last and final box is the post purchase journey, and I think this is where a lot of entrepreneurs today, especially in India, are stuck. Right. Uh, because... Something I was also going to tell you that this is a box where the, the moment they feel like a purchase has been done, they usually sort of let go of it, like maybe go a bit lax. And this is where they have to double down, especially digital first brands. Absolutely. Yeah. So, right. You, you know, if you notice a lot of these brands today, uh, I mean, from a customer point of time, uh, perspective, you know, I would go ahead and make the purchase. But if you see customers, the most reviews that businesses get is on support. That hey, I'm trying to reach the support team. The the, the, the time to uh, you know that I get a response is way too long. I have to wait for at least three to five days to get a revert from email uh, on emails and things like that. And see, I think it's the challenge over here is not the fact that the entrepreneur does not want to respond to these uh, you know queries on time. It is the challenge that they face is probably the technology stack which is not in place, right? And uh, for homegrown brands especially, it's a little difficult to respond back to customers. While, while managing their existing inventory and focusing on everything else that they do, right? And with a tool like WhatsApp, what simply happens is that the entire communication or the post-purchase journey can be managed, right? So you can set up automatic messages that go out to customers asking for reviews, right? Asking, how was what is your feedback? Is there anything that you'd want to share with us? Do you need any help, right? We are here for you. So letting the customer know that you are here for them even after they have purchased a product from you is where I think... Uh, you know, sets uh, sets them apart from probably most of the competition out here, and in, in, especially in India, right? So speaking more about what we uh, just saw, right? So here is an example of how a brand would typically promote itself, right? So this is the pre-purchase journey, right? So things like having your sales, uh, uh, and with the sales, you have a button which says shop now. When the customer would click on it, they would see all of your products, right? So you can see, you can set up different categories. Each categories will have multiple products. And then the customers then move to the second box of purchase, right? Where, where you as a business are selling to them. Now, here a customer would place an order, right? After the order, he'll get uh, automations like, you know, the order has been placed, the order has been shipped, so on and so forth. And then finally, the post-purchase journey that we spoke about, where uh, we're talking about how a business can provide support as well. Now, the key thing to note over here is that even if, uh, you know, with a, with a setup like Interact, what you typically can do uh, better than normal WhatsApp is that multiple people in the same company, right? Let's say you have a few co-founders, like two co-founders, and then you have your core team, right? So probably you are a, you are a business that has brought eight, 10 members, 15, 20 members, really doesn't matter. But the limitation that normally a traditional business would face on WhatsApp is that that number, right? Would be accessible to just one person. But with the WhatsApp API solution that we bring, uh, that same message can be uh, uh, simultaneously, uh, you know, be responded to, be viewed and uh, actioned by multiple people in the company just by using one official number. So it's like a right. number of a brand instead of a one person handling. So you know how we used to see one person, used, they used to have two phones, one is for the personal communication, one is for all business calls. 
this won't happen. It will be a brand phone number. The brand will have a WhatsApp account. Correct. Correct. Absolutely true. So, and I, you know, Rai, it's very surprising because I speak to so many businesses who have, who actually face this as a major challenge, right? Because uh, quite often they're not, they have multiple numbers and, you know, customers placing orders from different numbers and it gets really difficult to manage after a certain period of time, right? And quite often than not, you will, end, you know, business end up missing on uh, replying back to certain messages. It gets lost in the conversation thread somewhere. And with a, a proper solution in place, uh, I think this this is one of the major problems that can be averted for a business. No, right. automation is the, if you want to in today's day and time, when you know that the competition is going to wipe you off your feet in literally seconds, speed is your friend, convenience is your friend, automation has to be your go-to choice for everything. You cannot rely on human memory anymore. You cannot rely on the fact that I will reply to him later, I'll reply to that person later. That just cannot happen in today's day and time. Absolutely, absolutely. So what we're looking at now is, uh, you know, um, what all can you achieve, right? Kafi bar aisa hota, people, uh, you know, uh, feel that WhatsApp is just a small tool. It is majorly meant to send messages uh, and, you know, send some kind of correspondence back and forth. But what we end up missing on is understanding the true potential of an application like WhatsApp, right? So you can use WhatsApp guys, uh, you know, for marketing, right? At a time, you can send messages to thousands and 10,000 customers, prospects, leads, right? And uh, here you're sending not just marketing messages, but you can also work towards creating lead generation as well, right? Which simply means that, uh, you know, uh, using click to WhatsApp ads, you can redirect your customers from different places, right? And funnel them down on WhatsApp at one place where you can then start targeting them. Then you have WhatsApp commerce, which is a very, very underutilized feature. Right. What WhatsApp Commerce does is it allows a business to create a catalog for themselves. And this catalog can be, it's a clickable catalog. So it's not just like a PDF file. Right. So as a customer, I can actually go see a brand, what all they're offering, click. So maybe I'm, I, I, I am a clothing and an apparel manufacturer. Right. Uh, so when my customers actually visit my store, they can see, okay, this is their t shirts, shirts, uh, maybe jackets, so on and so forth. They can select the category. In that category, they can see the different products that they have, right? And from there on, they can, in fact, even go ahead and complete an entire purchase. Now, uh, for a, for most businesses, the challenge is, you know, initially is having a website, creating like an e-store, and uh, these solutions can get very expensive, right? Because the more you search, the more you want, and the more you want, you start realizing that, okay, it may this is going way beyond what I initially anticipated. But uh, I think with the, the beauty about, uh, you know, what you guys offer here at Insta Mojo is for, for even for small homegrown brands, you know, they can in fact build up a complete website of their own and, uh, you know, they're basically setting up a store in a matter of minutes and then creating an entire checkout flow, especially with an integration with Interact. I think the entire journey from a customer's perspective is going to be absolutely seamless, right? And uh, last but not the least, you know, is managing these customers. Now, Again, a challenge that a business would face is you taking care of everything else. Now you have all this customer information with you. What do you do with it? How do you manage it? And uh, I speak to so many brands and what, what they typically do is, you know, Excel is the God. Excel is where everything is stored and dumped. And over a period of time, there's so much of data scattered across so many places, right? It gets very difficult to kind of manage and put things together. But with fact, you have a, a WhatsApp inbuilt CRM itself. Right, so all of your information is at one place. You have all of your notes, all of your past customer history, uh, and anything that you want to know about a customer is available on one single platform. So you don't really have to depend on Excel sheets and creating backups at different places. It's all stored centrally at one place. All right, so uh, questions businesses need to ask themselves very, very uh, intuitive point here being that if I, uh, as a homegrown brand, I'm starting up, right? And if I want to know, or if I want to use a solution like WhatsApp, where do I start? What do I do? How do I create a map for myself? Right? And I'm here to help you understand this a little bit. Right? So let's talk about the first box here. Where should a business place entry points to WhatsApp? This is basically saying, key, if you have a business and you have a store, right? 
at what point of time should you create that entry point where your customer will come and yeah. start talking to you on it right and the answer to this is very simple you need as a business you need to understand what your core principle is what are you offering to customers right and based on that you decide for yourself okay that uh, now i i create i run a campaign on uh, let's say for example facebook right and i want to then redirect that customer from there and have them come uh, you know and start engaging with them on whatsapp or maybe i can have a qr code on my uh, on my branding on my box that i'm selling right again the second part uh, comes to asking what customer behavior do we want to engage right what do you want your customers to do do you want your customers to ask you questions do you want your customers to engage with you better do you want your customers to come to you for support what function does whatsapp play for your business right from there on we see what is a call to action so all what we have seen so far is where should a customer come in right what do you want them to do and where are you taking them what is a call to action that you should include right do you want to redirect them to your website do you want to redirect them to going ahead and watching or registering for an event things like that and uh, finally how a business can provide context aware responses right it is really frustrating you know uh, when you try and speak to maybe a bot right or uh, these so called support bots that are there and then you type something and the bot says sorry i didn't understand you know can you probably ask that question again or rephrase it it's simply that somewhere as a customer it's frustrating because i'm asking something but uh, i'm not getting the response so it's not able to understand right so um, whatsapp or rather interact uh, you know has an option where you can create an faq bot based on the kind of questions your customers would normally tend to ask you you can already decide and say hey i get these top 10 questions instead of having me to respond back to them every time let me create an automation right where a customer can see these 10 questions he can click on it and he will get an answer saying that okay this is what you're looking for here you go they want to know how does shipping work what is my policies here you go you don't have to manually keep sending this to them every single time right so this is about creating context aware response and we're going to see more of this in the next slide so here is an example right uh, here is a uh, a way where uh, these are, when we spoke about entry points right so if you see uh, on instagram the, the brand uh, has given a link to click and get redirected to whatsapp right so this is an organic entry point similarly they have a button placed on a, or a whatsapp widget placed on the website mm. the customer clicks on the button he gets redirected to whatsapp right another organic entry point could be facebook page right so on your facebook page you can link your whatsapp number and there you go the customers can automatically get funneled down definition of omni channel and in fact you'll be surprised to see more oh, right? okay so what we've just spoken about is just the organic ones hmm. now as a business i can strategize and get myself more present right and this is where you create entry points for yourself hmm. right uh, so we spoke about click to uh, whatsapp ads this is an example of a click to whatsapp ad you see an ad you click on send a message that message gets delivered directly on whatsapp then you have your search engines uh, uh you know uh, product packaging qr codes now when we spoke about uh, context aware responses right uh, see i told you that quite often the not uh, when a customer is trying to ask a question uh, he would we I would like to output it this way we live in a world where uh, you know people need instant gratification people don't like waiting customers don't like waiting right and if you are able to uh, give these answers to them without having them wait trust me they will be very very happy they will want to engage with you more because you are giving them what what they want right without having them to wait so if you see on the right hand side here right uh, a customer directly drops a message saying that have a query right the bot says hi welcome to our store and then gives a message a menu customer selects where is my order from the menu automatically the receiver responds back hi your order number so and so is on its way here this is a link to track your order right and uh, i mean this is a very simple and a very beautiful example of you know how a business can save a lot of time uh, you know in responding back to customers by creating simple automations like this now comes to the point where uh, we talk about we've been talking about whatsapp for quite some time and you may be wondering i have whatsapp on my phone why can't i do all of this right and the simple answer is the application that we use on our phone 
you know is either whatsapp messenger or whatsapp business right what we are talking about all uh, here today is whatsapp business api it's a separate application so whatsapp has three applications the messenger app is something that i think everyone uses today the whatsapp business application is i think most of you entrepreneurs here today are using right and then you have whatsapp business api this is where the entrepreneurs who want to take their business to the next level are actually migrating to right so if you see what is the difference between api and the rest of the platforms you'll notice that in a whatsapp api you have only one number right one official number which represents your brand and the same number can be accessed by multiple people you can access this uh, you know from a web browser or from the from your mobile by downloading the interact app now in uh, if you're using a whatsapp application you can send a broadcast right and uh, i think last time it was 256 uh, people were limited to in one broadcast and that too if the customers have not saved your number they will never receive that message so that's a limitation but with the whatsapp api there is no limit you can at a time you can start with a limit of 1000 move up to 10000 and go to 100000 that's one lakh customers in one click you are, you are you are sending your entire campaign out in one click to 10 1 lakh people and even more right now normal whatsapp does not require you to have a website but a whatsapp business api it's it is mandatory so if you don't have a website as yet and you're watching this please uh, reach out to the insta mojo team you can go ahead and create your own store um it's very very simple i've tried it for myself as well right <laughs> uh yes another good part about having whatsapp business api and you guys must have seen that uh, you know a lot of messages that you get from uh, larger brands maybe mintra or jabong and things like that you know have a green tick next to it it's like a verified sign so you could also be eligible to apply uh, uh, you know for a green tick for yourself for your brand it does require you to be uh, socially present and uh, but our team will be able to kind of help you as to how do you get there it takes a couple of tries uh, but uh, that is a possibility yes uh yes so uh, then you have bidirectional conversations which simply means that you uh whatsapp api works differently than normal whatsapp it's not that you just send and receive messages there is something called session messages which our team will be happy to explain to you how that works or you can simply look up our youtube channel as well um you also have out of the box uh, integrations that you can do which i mentioned earlier and yes very importantly whatsapp api is a paid platform unlike normal whatsapp which are which is free whatsapp api does charge you for sending messages but it is a very minimal and nominal cost i would love to explain that to you as well now uh one thing to note right is that uh not every business is eligible to use a whatsapp api right because it's a very very powerful tool as you can see in in a click of a button if you can send a message to 1 lakh and 10 lakh people you can imagine the kind of power that this holds right so what whatsapp basically is very particular about who or uh, what is the category of the business uh, uh, that is using the product right so certain categories are not allowed to use a whatsapp api i have put it up on the screen uh, so if your business just fall into it or if you are confused you can reach out to our team we'll be more than happy to help you understand this better so i'm guessing that there is a proper compliance process for those who are opting for the api uh, whatsapp business api platform yeah correct so for example uh, if i'm a business who is into selling uh, e cigarettes and vapes mm. right that is not allowed so whatsapp does not allow you it's against their compliance policy right so uh, uh, similarly uh, you know maybe if i'm into medical equipment now uh, it does allow the sale of uh, or rather sending communication across but not the sale of medicines or prescription drugs so that's why i said so it can be a little bit of a gray area for some people to understand but uh, you know if you re- if you go to a website and reach our team you know we can kind of help you understand this better but yes it is a compliance thing so regardless of how much you try you if it goes against the compliance policy we really cannot do it yeah all right so uh, what do you need to get started right so we have understood we understand that okay whatsapp api is a great tool you can do a lot of things lot of automations very exciting but uh, as a business owner what do you need to do right first thing website mandatory like we spoke if you don't have it have your insta mojo team to help you set this up uh second thing there's something called your facebook business manager right and your business manager is uh, you need to log on to business.facebook.com i'll repeat it's business.facebook.com and when you do this you will be dire- you'll be directed to a page which looks different than normal facebook right uh here is where you can actually create facebook ads and things like that but one part of it is verifying this business manager 
So you have to send certain documents to Facebook, upload it rather, and they take about 24 hours to 48 hours. Uh, it is basically nothing but Facebook is verifying you as a business owner, that you are the right legitimate owner of the business and this account belongs to you, right? So these are a set of documents. You need two documents over here that you upload. And once you do that, Facebook will verify your business manager. Very important process because if your business manager is not verified, you can only send a message to 250 people in one day. Against a verified business manager, we can send a message to 1,000. Start, you start with a limit of 1,000 messages in 24 hours, and that keeps on increasing, like I told you earlier. Right? So there are two things. First is website. Second is your um, Facebook business manager. And third is your business phone number. Right? So you need to have or procure a number. This number should not have an existing WhatsApp account. So if you're using a, a number that is already familiar uh, uh, you know, uh, with your customers, you will actually have to delete that number on WhatsApp and only then you can connect it to WhatsApp API. Or like most businesses do, get a new number, make it your official number and gradually start sending messages from there so customers start getting familiar with this. So just a second, Benjamin, I'll interrupt you quickly here. So in the previous slide, you talked about the Facebook business manager, right? We have actually had a lot of inquiries about what is Facebook business manager? Do I need it? Do I not need it? And if I do need it, how do I use it? So we have a bunch of resources on the Instamojo blog. What we will do is we will link these um, articles to our comments. So anybody watching this, if you have questions about the Facebook business manager, you feel free to peruse through our um resources right and if you have more questions about connecting to uh, the whatsapp business api as benjamin said please feel free to contact the interact team and they'll be more than happy to help you absolutely right so uh post which we spoke about the number so number is very simple you either you procure a new number yeah or else you connect the existing number if you want to use the existing number you'll have to delete whatsapp first right so take a backup and after that you can connect that number to whatsapp api it will be your official number going forward Right after that, step three is or step four rather is very simple. Come to a website, interact.shop, and click on start your free trial. You get a 14 day free trial with us. Uh, experience the platform. Uh, you get to see what all you can do. Send a couple of test messages also. See how the response is. And I'm sure you'll love it. Your customers will love it. And uh, you know, we have a very beautiful uh, and a very friendly sales team as well who love to help you understand the product better. Uh, who will take you on a Google Meet and guide you on to how to use a platform. We have uh, webinars and live demos and, as well, you know, that takes place every day, Monday to Saturday at three o'clock. So feel free to drop by uh, to get a complete 360, 360 degree overview of, you know, how the platform works. So uh, we've already spoken about WhatsApp, WhatsApp API. Uh, I've told you that, you know, Interact does this, Interact does that, but who is Interact? What is Interact, right? So Interact, uh, is a product that was launched by our parent company, which is Geo Haptic, right? And Geo Haptic, again, is a part of uh, the Reliance Geo Industries, right? So Reliance Geo is an investor uh, in our organization. And, uh, you know, we work very closely with all the new product launches that happen from Meta as well. So we are an official Meta and, uh, you know, we are based on, uh, we are an official WhatsApp business partner as well. So um, a lot of things happen uh, that, uh, at, um, at Meta, like any new product updates that actually happen are tested through us. Uh, and, you know, uh, at, at this point of time, we cater to, I think, close to about six and a half thousand uh, merchants in India and uh, globally as well. Uh, it's been it's been about three years that we've been in the business and we've been doing exceptionally good, right? And the key over here is simply nothing but uh, cre we've created a product which is, uh, you know, loved by our customers, which is very... Uh, uh, intuitive to what the customer or what business owners really need today at a very, very affordable price, right? Uh, if uh, a couple of years ago during the pandemic, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, must have used a bot on WhatsApp. It was called MyGov, right? And if you don't remember it, let me remind you, whenever you wanted to go to a mall or any public place, you had to show your vaccine certificate, right? And to do that, you used to click on, uh, you used to go to this WhatsApp bot and simply download a certificate. This entire board that was developed was done by a parent company, Haptic, and it was one of our biggest implementations, uh, you know, with the government of India, of course, 150 million people using it, 600 million messages were sent, received, and that exchange of conversations happened, right? A couple of uh, uh, brands that you see below, uh, Ku, uh, you know, which is the Indian version of Twitter, you have, uh, you know, uh, State Plate, uh, it's not mentioned, I think there's a separate slide for that. Uh, a lot of brands which are on Shark Tank are, in fact, also using Interact. 
Ah, there you go. So this is state plate again. Uh, you know where Raghav, in fact, on star on on Shark Tank had spoken a lot about how he has, uh, you know, uh, seen a tremendous growth uh, in his business as well. Uh, again, the Shopify reviews, uh, sorry, the cards increased two x uh, simply because you're promoting your products, uh, you know, through WhatsApp commerce. Customers uh, were given a resolution of one point five times faster than how it was before. Right, and they saw forty x increase in their customer engagement, which is fabulous for any business. And right? because at the end of the day, customers are speaking to you, and they want to hear from you. Again, you have another side here talking about Sahana Goel from Purple Punchies. She's one of the co-founders. And as you take a time, your time to kind of read, let me explain to you. You know, for Purple Punchies, it was a great, uh, I think, implementation. They saw a twenty percent increase in their, uh, you know, in their uh, order value, right? So the average order value increased in uh, by almost twenty percent. Uh, they had an eighty percent reduction in CRM spends, which simply means that you don't have to depend on external CRMs and uh, you know spend extra to purchase a different system. Everything is there in Interact, right? So you don't really have to do and jump, go, use multiple platforms and buy multiple subscriptions, which reduces your cost as a business as well. So I hope this has uh, really been uh, informative. You've learned a lot, and uh, you know I think with the whole integration that we have with Insta Mojo, we are really excited because one key thing that I really haven't mentioned so far is uh, you know with our integration with Insta Mojo, not only can you create uh, you know your own store and uh, integrate interact with it, but you can also immediately send payment links to customers. Right, so if you don't want them to redirect them to somewhere else, you can go ahead and send those payment uh, links directly on WhatsApp, and customers can go ahead and make those purchases right away. Right, you have a separate dashboard inside Interact where you can keep a track of these orders also, so you know how many orders have come, how many are fulfilled, so on and so forth. And as Benjamin said, uh, if you you need to have a website right to use the okay. WhatsApp business API, and since it's crucial to see and higher engagement to look professional to for your customers to increase your chances of conversions to reduce cart abandonments and all of these powerful benefits that WhatsApp business APIs can have, I the link is in the description of this particular session session that we're having. The you can simply. If you don't have an account, you can sign up for an account on Instamojo. If you already have an account, then the link will directly take you to the dashboard of Instamojo, where you can go and subscribe to Interact to have it incorporated seamlessly with your online store. I think this was a very good session, Benjamin. And because we are sort of coming to the end of time, there are some quick questions that our audience has that I would like to present to you now. Okay, so um, I think we'll quickly go through. some of them first is hi benjamin what kind of businesses can do really well on whatsapp perfect so see i think uh, the answer to this um, may not be what you would expect right so typically someone would say that a typical e-commerce store i think is the best example uh, for a business that should use whatsapp but if you see interact again is agnostic of whatever business type uh, or category you belong to so i have merchants coming from edtech i have come, i have home grown brands uh, you know selling things like pickles uh, oils uh, cold pressed oils uh, you know uh, customized merchandise uh, recycled clothes bags you know made out of recycled uh, apparel uh, to uh, you know uh, i think fintech companies small fintech companies also using this i have uh, businesses who are you know uh, 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 probably working on uh, on mutual funds uh, debentures uh, equity products so the range it's i mean it's a really crazy range that we have we have so many different categories of businesses using uh, interact or rather using whatsapp as a larger platform right so i think it would be uh, it would not uh, do justice if i say that it's only meant for e-commerce absolutely not regardless of uh, you know what our business category belong to i'm sure uh, you know you would see a tremendous uh, benefit in moving to whatsapp api platform okay so any business anybody who is watching this session and wanted to know more i hope this helps you because as you can see it is not restricted to just people selling a certain kind of product online okay moving on to the next question from gr ramachandran ramanathan for small businesses is it absolutely required to have whatsapp 
I will go ahead and say yes because that's the easiest way you can communicate with your customers. But then next is how do you communicate with your WhatsApp messages? Is a GST registration mandatory for startups? And what will be the percentage of conversion? I think I've got a fair understanding of what this. Okay. Person. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, no, you don't need to, to be GST registered. It's fine. Even if you're not, um, you can still start using it. Eventually, uh, we hope that through our engagement, your business and brand grows to a point where you have to register uh, you know, and get your GST registration done. But that being said, uh, uh, how do you communicate? Yes, Interact will help you create, uh, or rather we will give you a complete dashboard where uh, you can that you can access. You, you and your team can access rather. And you can actually see all your customers coming in. So this dashboard or the Interact app Basically, will be replace will be a replacement for your typical WhatsApp, right? So all your customer messages will be appearing there. You can respond to them from there. You have Interact's mobile app also that you can download and uh, respond to customers on the go. And yes, uh, coming to the first part of the question, is it uh, absolutely mandatory? I would say in today's world, hundred percent yes. Uh, you can continue using typical WhatsApp business. I would say just test it out once. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be impressed and. Uh, Test it out with a small, small sample size of your customers, maybe for a couple of months. I'm sure you'll see, uh, uh, you know, the dynamics change for yourself. And um, because I think there might be more follow-up questions, there will be somebody from the Interact or InstaMojo team to connect to you on the comments so that you can directly ask them all your doubts uh, after the session. Um, there are a few more questions. One is, what are some of the best free features that I can use for business growth? So what are one of the key features that you can use for a business? Okay, so let's start with, before getting into key features, I would like to look at it, probably reverse engineer the question, right? What are the key problems that you would face as a business? First is conversations being scattered in multiple places. Two, lack of integration or out of the box automation, right? Three, uh, extremely high cost of marketing, uh, which may or may not give you the kind of result that a typical WhatsApp campaign would. And four, having the ability to foresee everything at one single place, right? So now reverse engineering the same thing that I said. With a shared team inbox, what is simply happening is that you're funneling down all your different leads coming in from different places. So you're doing lead generation. You're funneling these leads and bringing them to interact. Once the leads are in one place, you are sending a campaign to them, right? So a message is going out from your brand to these customers. Uh, again, this is happening through our campaign feature, which is again, a very, very good feature that we have. Then you can set up additional automations that when these customers reply back, they are redirected to a chatbot kind of a flow where their questions are getting catered to and answered. You're also setting up a catalog so your customers can now start seeing this catalog, interacting with it. They may not purchase something right away, right? But I'm sure see, seeing that somewhere down the lane, a couple of days, that, that is going to resonate and they are going to come back. It happens with me all the time, right? So you are creating your, your engagement, you're creating your awareness. And then now you're moving into the sales funnel where the customer starts purchasing. Then after he's purchasing, he is then going into the entire feedback and the post-purchase journey, which also is managed here, centralized at one place. And then maybe after three months from now, you are, you are launching a different, uh, a new product or you're running a sale, right? You can retarget this group of people as well. You can have different groups within that uh, segment your customers as, you know, loyal customers, curious browsers, uh, high spenders, things like that. And this will really help you kind of create uh, very intuitive campaigns that are personalized to that particular customer group. I hope that answers the question. Okay, uh, the next one is, if we move to an official API, can we go back to using WhatsApp business? Yes, you can. There is no restriction or WhatsApp does not say that, hey, once you connect a number to API, you cannot come back to uh, regular WhatsApp. Yes, of course you can. Of course, uh, you will not get access to all the communication that you had on a WhatsApp API, right? So it's typically uh, just the same process. You, you uh, reach out to the support team. We will disable the account on the backend. Right. And post which you, uh, you can uh, bring that number, downgrade that number back to regular WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, the next question is what are the commercials? I think let's just give a very brief overview of it. And then, um, you can ask the team post the session. Yeah. So I think, uh, it's a very 
very very straightforward question everyone wants to know if you are uh, if you are looking at a product like this what are the cost implications right how expensive is this what is it going to cost you so to be very honest um, i think uh, in terms of affordability interact is one of the most affordable platforms and against the kind of features that we are offering right so there is no other platform available anywhere i would say that has the amount of features that we have and at the cost that we are offering so talking specifically about the cost right there are two components of your pricing with interact the first component is a fixed cost right which is depending on the subscription plan that you choose so we have three plans every plan has certain features right we have plans starting with as low as 999 a month plus 18% gst right and then and the highest plan that we have uh, is an advanced plan that has practically everything that you would need but uh, and that comes at a cost of about 3500 uh, rupees per month plus 18% gst again. right so this is your fixed cost so depending on what you choose this is a fixed cost that you have to pay every month second component is a variable cost what in the second component what we are talking about is the charges that whatsapp would levy right for the messages that you send so i told you earlier whatsapp is a paid platform whatsapp charges for the messages that you send right now every month whatsapp offers every business 1000 free conversations so the first 1000 conversations you have with customers or you send messages is free of cost right after that interesting whatsapp starts charging you right and the charges can be as low as probably 55 paisa for one conversation right so that's why i said it's a variable cost depending on how many messages you want to send just multiply that with 55 55 paisa so that will be a typical cost apart from this there is no other cost no hidden cost nothing we are very transparent i'm very proud uh, of the fact that we are very transparent about our price okay um next question uh coming to the last question again if there are follow up questions please feel free to reach out to the interact team to get more details and as i said it's a straightforward question pretty transparent about what is happening so if this doesn't answer your question and you need more details do connect to them uh the next question is what do i do to get approved for the business apis so um i know that you had a couple of slides where you said the documents that you need but do you maybe have more information on this something that can fast track your process or something that can show your business in a a good light you know give you an approval faster is there something of that sort see not really whatsapp uh, is very straightforward and uh, you would realize this when you start speaking with the team as well that to get started to get approved all that you need is just the three things that i mentioned earlier your website that is live you don't even need an a verified facebook business manager it's not a need it's not mandatory i would say you can start without it also just that the limitation that will be there is 250 messages or in a in a day period in in a 24 hour window right i personally say it's mandatory the reason because if you are paying or if you are investing a certain amount uh, for a purpose like whatsapp api it's better to have a verified business manager and a higher message limit mm. right so it's not mandatory of course but yes it is better it is good for you as a business because you are paying for it so why not get the most benefit out of it and uh, so website mobile number and yes uh, very good to have uh, is a facebook business manager which is verified just these three things apart from that rest leave it unto us we will help you we will take care of you uh, we will ensure that you are absolutely happy before even you move to a paid plan caviar except those who are selling the things that are not liked by uh, whatsapp and i'm guessing that list is right there on a platform quite visible right uh, absolutely yes okay uh, the next question is by hemant does the basic plan have group access or multi user access yes uh, hemant ji uh, our, our basic plans in fact all of our plans have uh, access uh, or rather let me put it across this way regardless of the number of people or, or team members you have working internally interact does not charge you anything extra for uh, adding team members and you can have unlimited team members or users internally as well and same goes for customer data as well so it's not that you can upload only uh, 10 or 50000 customer data on interact no. unlimited uploads unlimited internal team users and no additional cost on any of the plans okay um let me see if i have missed a question so there is a question how do i get people to contact me on whatsapp for order related queries from an online store but uh, we already went through this where you can get a uh, the widget right the whatsapp icon widget on the landing page of your choice or the home page where um, a visitor on your online store just can just click on it and they'll be redirected to the whatsapp business page am i right 
that's it. absolutely okay um i think i have covered everything do you charge for incoming messages right uh, so that's a very good question uh, see the way whatsapp api works right as i told you the first is the fixed component so let's not talk about the second component is the variable component right which is based on conversation the whole logic of conversation is that uh, uh it's it a conversation can be termed as a message or a group of messages that are sent inside a 24 hour window right so if i'm a business and you're a customer let's say i as a business i send a campaign to 100 people and you are part of that 100 right so what what has happened here is 100 conversations have been initiated now when 100 conversations have been initiated maybe 10 or 20 or 30 of these customers may reply back so regardless whether the customers reply back or not whatsapp will count that as one conversation now this is an outgoing conversation okay if the customer replies within 24 hours there is no extra charge it is still considered as a one conversation itself but let's say a customer replies after 24 hours he replies maybe day after tomorrow or so in such cases uh, that will be considered as a fresh conversation altogether. But because that conversation was started not by you, the business, but by the customer, it will be charged a separate and a lower cost, the rate, right? Which is generally uh, in the lines of about 35 pesos. Uh, okay, so I think we're also at the end of our session mostly. There's one last question that is there. And this is the question I also wanted to ask you. So Nikhil has asked, I don't want to come across as spam. What do I do now? Before you answer, I'd also like to add on to this. Um, when you are showing the message, the video, at that point, you had specifically mentioned that once the purchase is done, the person can opt out if they want. And that was like built into the flow of the entire thing, right? So how crucial is this one specific option that you're giving to the customer? With, with the world moving into conversational commerce and uh, you know, especially centered around WhatsApp, it many customers may feel uh, that their personal space is being invaded also right so especially uh, so firstly it's best to send messages to customers who know you who know your brand right uh, if you are sending messages uh, or send, sending bulk messages to probably a database that you procured or purchased uh, it's best first to brand yourself properly have a complete uh, whatsapp profile created properly which includes your logo, your description, all of your store related information, right? So when, when the customer sees it, firstly, they know it's a legit brand and not just someone spamming them. Uh, yeah, secondly, right, just like you pointed out, we do have an option where a customer can opt out, right? Very similar to an unsubscribe button that you see on emails. Right? So if he does not want to receive messages uh, from a particular business, he can simply type the word STOP stop and an automation will kick in where the customer will not get any messages in the future. This of course has to be then selected as an option in the campaigns in the future to ensure that the messages don't go to them. But uh, this is also the second option. And third is creating, uh, you know, good templates. I can't stress on this enough. Uh, you know, uh, generally bands tend to rush through the creative process, uh, you know, add a picture, add a couple of lines, maybe add a button and then the template is done. Spend some time, you know, uh, creating a nice, beautiful template, let it look interactive, let it, let it appeal to a customer in a way that they want to see more of this than rather, you know, clicking on typing stop and not receiving messages from them. So I think those three points, they summarize one. That was beautifully summarized. And I'm really hoping that everybody who has been watching has had most of the questions answered. Of course, as we both have, you know, it, it reiterated again and again, if there are more questions, if there's any kind of doubts that you have, if you really want to see real demos of how WhatsApp APIs can help your business, or if you want to see how um, Interact works with Instamojo and how if you have an Instamojo account, how can Interact help you connect your customers better, please reach out to anybody from the Interact team or the Instamojo uh, support team. You can email us at support at instamojo.com or uh, Benjamin, the support email ID for Interact. Yeah, you can just reach out to me, Benjamin at haptic.ai or support at the rate interact.ai. Yes, we will put all of these email IDs in the comments so that it's easy for you to just copy paste and send us these emails. Um, thank you so much, Benjamin, for such an interactive session, for such a um, utility driven session. I think it had a lot of important takeaways. And as we keep saying in today's day and time, simplicity, 
speed and convenience has to be priority and that is exactly what um what these whatsapp business apis offer to us right so thank you so much for coming to us for speaking to our audience and everybody here um please stay tuned for more business sessions and if you have any other knowledge tidbits that you require you can visit the instamojo blog and um if i guess have a good day everybody awesome awesome thanks right thanks for having us over it was an absolute pleasure and i hope uh, this has been a great session i hope guys you have learned something new and um, uh, really looking forward to seeing a lot of you guys uh, you know creating test and trial accounts with us thank you i'm just going to